Hey YouTube, Ron the Happy Extruder here. So I have in front of me the Ender 2 by Creality. It was sent to me by Gearbest. They asked me if I could review a printer for them and I said sure. So I chose the Creality Ender 2. I've seen a lot of people have success with it and I made a couple of changes to it. As you can see here, I added a mount for the LCD because it was flush flat against the uh, box here and it was hard to look at what you was clicking and and choosing so i printed this off a of thingiverse links in the description as well as a part cooling fan it did not come with a part cooling fan and i added that as well uh it's a very capable little printer it surprised me as far as uh what it can handle with such a small print volume so the creality and the two even though it has a small print volume you're still able to print some functional parts I printed this Einzy case for the Prusa Mark III build that I'm doing. So I can have access to the Pi Zero case. The Pi Zero board that's going to go in it. And I printed this first and then I printed the Pi Access door separately. So it's a very decent uh, printer. You can still get functional parts off it. Um, I'll would put this in my garage whenever I have to print some spacers and some other stuff. Uh, I would definitely use this without a problem. Some nice clean prints. Some of the things I like about this printer is it's very easy to use. Uh, very straightforward. You got an on button, switch it on. You got your LCD right here in the bottom. It's a little hard to see. There's a little you got your USB port for your cable and you have your SD card. Pop your SD card in, choose your print and print away. It's pretty decent. The spool holder on top, uh, I printed this off a of Thingiverse just to guide the filament and give it a, uh, a guide to so it won't be so rigid as it's going into the Bowden. And it works pretty good. Uh, the power supply, as you can see, this is the revision too. Uh, it doesn't come with a power brick. The power supply pretty much does a decent job. Uh, it's loud. I would be definitely changing this power supply. It heats up everything pretty fast. That I must say. Um, but it's very loud and I'll show you in a second. Okay. So I plugged in the power supply. And now that the power supply is plugged in, you can hear. And the machine's off. <laughs> the machine's not even on. So that you'll be hearing that fan whirring, whirling around with the machine off. Now you turn it on. You get the end of the logo. And as you can see. This screen being flat down, you would have had to literally peel all the way over and lean to see the screen. Now it's in a good position. You can see it with no problem. It's very decent. Choose what you want. The button's a little bit fidgety, but it's auto homing now. There it is. So it's pretty decent printer. What I like about it, it's a small footprint. You can put it anywhere you want in the corner. It doesn't take up much space. Uh, there are a lot of little things you can print for it off of Thingiverse. Uh, several upgrades. Like I said, I did the LCD remount and the park cooling fan. And the leveling knobs bed leveling knobs so overall i think it's a pretty decent printer uh, i left a description with a link it's it's an affiliate link if you want to support the channel you can go ahead and click that if you can find the cheaper somewhere else go ahead it's all about saving money so that's the creality and the two very decent printer and with some upgrades and changes you can get it printing pretty much to what you want Excellent for a garage and if you're printing stuff out, out by the garage, you want to take this with you on an excursion or you want to do a little educational uh, 
show and tell. This is a pretty decent printer. Creality Ender 2.